Are we ready to begin? We've established the candidate firm as a viable proxy. Public interest is strong, market confidence is high. I've spoken with my people in the ARC. Our ghost will be ready to activate when the moment comes. And the research? The trials are complete, yes? We're close, but we need more time. Explain. The tests have yielded excellent results during this phase, but the effects vary. With more time, we can ensure the mechanism will work exactly as required. And told us the latest batch was ready for release. All of our plans depend on your provision. Delays are unacceptable. To get the data we require, the testing regimen will need to be increased. We can see to that in Panama. You'll have what you want. Are we at risk? Our new recruit is ready, but he is unstable. And the scientist? Under control. He'll do what he's told. What about the two that got away? Missing. Presumed dead. They interfered in Geneva. That cannot happen again. If they come out of hiding, I'll kill them myself. Returning now to our main story. The global shortage of neuropazine is making life difficult for augmented people everywhere. Pharmaceutical giant Versalife, sole manufacturer of the anti-rejection drug, has suffered multiple setbacks in recent months, slowing the company's ability to meet demand. Anna, what's wrong? You're unsteady. I'm fine. As good as can be expected. Are you skipping your meds? I know you're not sleeping. Come on, talk to me. It doesn't matter. The clock is ticking, Ben. You know they're out there looking for us. And it's only a matter of time before he finds out where we're hiding. He won't find us here. We can't just sit here waiting. If we had enough information, proof of what they're doing, we could expose them. Conspiracies thrive in the darkness. But if we could shine a light on them, so bright it would make it impossible for them to operate. Two against the Illuminati. You'll never expose the tyrants. They just cover their lies with more lies. They work in the shadows, it's what they're good at. I know, because I used to be one of them. The only way to stop them is to wipe them out. What happened to you, Ben? Before Geneva? What was it like to be a tyrant? What did you see? Tell me about him. I couldn't tell where the man ended and the machine began. His name is Jaron Namir, commander of the tyrants, a covert black ops unit. I was working for the Bell Tower PMC. Namir rescued me from a mission that went bad. Operation Rainbird, right in the heart of the Australian Civil War. I lost my entire team out there. We were shot down. Only two of us survived the crash, me and Sam. Corporal Sam Duarte. But Sam died before they came. I had nowhere else to go. Namir recruited me. My first mission with the Tyrants was in Moscow. The target was a Russian minister. They said he was in bed with a cyber warfare hacker group. They said he was the one responsible for Operation Rainbird. Namir gave me a chance for revenge. Activate the wet drive. Call up the primary target. Remember that face, Ben. This is the man responsible for the deaths of your former team. You are to terminate him with extreme prejudice. For Sam and the others. All call signs, check in. This is blue, ready to roll. Gray here, let's go. White, I'm already in position. Red, follow me. Go now. Frequency. From this moment on, use code names and sub-vocal communication only. You can look in any direction by using the mouse. You can invert your look controls in the options menu. 
You can move in any direction by using the W, A, S and D keys. You can hold the shift key to walk. Red, blue, secure the roof. Check for stragglers. Gray, with me. Use the mouse to align the crosshair with your enemies. Use the left mouse button to fire your weapon when an enemy is inside your crosshair for an accurate shot. Others ass out here. Stop riding. You're like a little girl. And what does it even mean? It means what you think it means. The vault icon will appear when you are in cover against objects which are low enough for you to jump over. The vault icon will also appear when you're not in cover but are near enough to a low wall to vault over it. That last bloke was Bradford, Russian Mafia. They all are. Keep up! You can perform a takedown by approaching an enemy and using the Q key. You have the choice of performing a noisy lethal hold Q or a silent non-lethal press Q takedown. Approach an enemy in front of you while crouched and eliminate them silently by using a non-lethal takedown. The rest of their squad will not be alerted. Where's Red? Oh, she's around. Great! Deny their communications. You can interact with objects in the world by placing your crosshair on them and pressing the E key. Everything that can be used has a pop-up which will tell you what the object is. Some objects are also destructible and some can be picked up or moved. Done. Target comms are dead. Ready. Get that hatch off. <laughs> Insertion. Go. Pressing the C key allows you to cycle between standing and crouching. Holding the control key will also allow you to crouch. You move faster while standing, but you make a lot of noise. Crouching allows you to fit into small areas, sneak up on enemies, and have a more accurate aim. Once a weapon has been assigned to a quick slot, you can hold down the H key to roll out your available quick slots. Use the mouse scroll wheel to select a quick slot. Hostiles will appear as triangles on your radar at the bottom of the screen. The color of the triangle indicates the enemy's level of alertness while its orientation shows what direction the enemy is facing. Green means unalert, orange means suspicious, and red means hostile. I've got company. Go tactical. Eliminate all threats.
You can utilize cover objects in the world to evade danger. Enter cover on the wall ahead of you by approaching it and pressing the right mouse button. Then transfer between cover objects on your left to avoid the turret. Proceed and stay alert. If you move to the edge of a cover object, you can silently dive to an adjacent piece of cover by pressing the spacebar. You can move around the cover by holding the spacebar. You can open a locked door by hacking its security terminal. Locked doors often provide alternate routes to your goal. You can complete a hack by capturing nodes and disabling the system's security measures. granted. If you take damage, your body will automatically heal over time. You can replenish hit points instantly by consuming alcohol and painkillers. Consuming alcohol and painkillers with full health will boost your hit points above 100 to a maximum of 200 hit points. There are attachments and upgrades available for every weapon. To attach a silencer to your gun, pause the game and access the weapon's info screen in your inventory. Silenced weapons can be fired without alerting the enemy, but if a member of an enemy squad sees a squad mate be killed, he will become hostile. A group of enemies operates as a squad. If a member of the squad is alerted to your presence, he will call out for help from the rest of his team. You can defeat a squad of enemies without raising an alarm by silently taking out each member one at a time. The administrator has been locked up for days. Take out the How guards! How long is he going to be unavailable? This I don't know. What I know is that after this shift, you are buying God drinks. Yes, yes. I lost a bit. I know. It's all I hear from you all. <laughs>
Access granted. Advance! Kontowski's rooms are up ahead. The target must be close. He could be shielded from thermographic scan. It's a decoy. Weapons, items, and ammo can be purchased at any time through the inventory screen. Press the escape key and access the weapons section of the inventory to purchase an EMP grenade. Hold down the middle mouse button or the G key to roll out your grenade selector and select the EMP grenade using the mouse scroll wheel. If you have a target selected and you throw a grenade, it will automatically travel in the target's direction. Try throwing an EMP grenade at the sentry in the next room. Stand by, Gray. We're coming to you. Isolate and neutralize the target. That term optic shield is down. Be extra alert. Sergei went to take care of it. It will be fine. Just keep your eyes open. I have vision! <laughs> If you don't want to hack a locked door, you can try entering a passcode instead. 
passcodes are often hidden in nearby pocket secretaries or computer terminals. You can also try to destroy the door with weapons and explosives. Access granted. You can gain new abilities at any time by using Praxis software to unlock your body's mechanical augmentations. Unlock the glass shield cloaking system so that you can bypass the security laser without being detected. You can gain new ab Active augmentations are assigned to quick slots and can be activated at any time. These augmentations consume energy whenever they are used. Activate the glass shield cloaking system and pass through the laser gate undetected. Don't move. Please, you must not stop me. He's here to kill you, Mikhail. You told me I would have more time. Please, I have to finish what I started or- Touch that console and it'll be the last thing you ever do, Minister. Mikhail, this is bigger than you. We need the data on the killing floor and the tyrants. You must complete the upload. That's enough from you, pal. No. No, not yet. It's over. You're not here to arrest me. You're not a policeman. What authority do you have? Please, I beg of you, do not kill me. I only did what I thought was right. This man is not a criminal. You cannot judge him. Save it. You're part of a global terror network. The people you sold out to are responsible for the deaths of my men. Operation Rainbird. You know that name? You know what happened out there? That was my squad you sacrificed. They were soldiers, doing their jobs. It wasn't even their damn war, but you gave us up to the enemy. You're going to answer for what you've done. Are you watching this? Because we're coming for you next. No! No, no, no! That's not true! I'm not a terrorist! I, I've never even heard of this Operation Rainbird! Please, Janus, help me! Do you know what you are doing, mercenary? Do you know what master you serve? You are being lied to. They cannot afford to have you learn the truth. They are using your desire for revenge to control you. Janice is right. I don't know anything about your men. You must believe me. I do not want to die. I won't kill you, but you're coming with me, and you're gonna tell me everything. Green light. Please, I do not want to die. Target has been terminated. All units, exfiltrate now. Tyrants and the men holding their leash don't seek justice. They want control, absolute control. And they use every tool available to them. Manipulation, lies, assassination. How did you find out that Namir was lying to you about Kuntarsky and Operation Rainbird? After Moscow, I knew something was wrong. I started looking where I wasn't supposed to. The Tyrants operate from a mobile base, a jetliner fitted with stealth gear. That's where I found the intel. 
on Namir's computer. What did you find, Ben? It's really important. Try to remember every detail you can. We were flying at night, across the North Atlantic. We were in the middle of a storm. I waited until the debrief was complete, made sure the others were out of the way. I took the opportunity to look around. Barrett, no offense, mate, but next time I'll jump when I damn well want to. What, you afraid of heights, tough guy? I guess you're gun shy too, huh? At least I don't think with my weapon. I had Kantarski cold. I was in control. You're here to follow orders, not improvise. Next time you go off book, we'll leave your sorry ass for the Ruskies. As much as I like your company, I don't have time to chat. Namir wants me to follow up on the debrief with him. Get the hell out of my face. got into the control center and forced access to Namir's computer. He used a program called the Killing Floor to get his orders. from where? I'm not sure, but I found the recon report for Operation Rainbird. Two versions of it. One which said our flight path was safe, clear of drone activity, and another which told the truth. We were sent straight into a kill zone. Kataski had nothing to do with it. set you up. I had to find Amir to you find out. Trying to recruit me? I read the after-action report on the failure of Operation Rainbird. You survived against very long odds, Mr. Saxon. I'm quite impressed. I could use someone with your skill set. I find myself a man down after a recent incident, and you make a good candidate. Interested? Maybe if you told me who the hell you are. I told you. The name Try me. I am Yaron Namir, field commander of a non-aligned special operations unit known as the Tyrants. We are an elite, independent, self-financing group 
dedicated to maintaining global stability through covert means. A rogue cell. Tyrants. That name doesn't exactly have a ring of righteousness to it. I beg to differ. The true meaning of the word stems from the Greek Turanos. It was only later the name gathered its negative connotations. In its original form, the term describes those who take power by their own means, instead of being awarded it through birthright or elective. That is what we do, Mr. Saxon. We take power from those who abuse it. We restore the balance. Out of the goodness of your heart, Bell Tower's failures cost you the lives of the men and women in your unit. Are you really ready to go back to them, knowing that? Be honest with me, Mr. Saxon. Are you ever going to trust your employers again? I have a responsibility. I signed a contract. One that is near to ending. We can deal with that if only a piece of paper is stopping you. Believe me, I can make that go away. This offer won't come again. And if you decide to go looking for us after the fact, I warn you, there will be consequences. We can give you what you need, Ben. The tyrants help their own. I want you to tell me the truth about Operation Rainbird. Kontarski was never involved, was he? You used me to kill him. You're a very good soldier, Ben. But there's something you lack. Enlighten me. You can't see where the line is. You don't know how to compartmentalize yourself. You're not willing to make that sacrifice. That's what we have to do. Put up walls around the parts of our souls we want to keep sacrosanct. Barriers to protect our humanity. We're killers, Ben. It's what we're best at. Is that what you do? You're one man in here with us. Out there you're someone else. An assassin, a liar. That's not something to be proud of. That's a pattern of psychosis. You're very good at what you do, Ben. But inside, you're weak. You can't let go. I thought that might change after what happened in Australia. I had hopes. You were part of that. I want you to think very carefully about what you say next. Because this is the most important choice you will ever make. What happened in Moscow? That was not a test of your character or your loyalty. This is the test, Ben. This is what will define who you are and your future with the tyrants. Do you understand? I need to know if you can be like me, like the rest of us. Like you? You don't hide your humanity, Namir. You just tell yourself you do. But you lost it a long time ago. You and Barrett, Fedorova and the others. You're just a weapon that thinks like a man. That's a shame. I really wanted you to understand. I hate to see great potential wasted. Tell me what you did. I want the truth. I wish I could make it clear how lucky you are, Ben. Recruitment into the Tyrants is not a reward that just anyone is given. You were on our radar for a long time before I came to you in Australia. I gave you the opportunity to be something greater. The falsified mission data. You had it substituted for the real thing. How? We have assets inside the Bell Tower Corporation. It wasn't difficult. Those men in your squad... They were a hindrance to you. They had to be sacrificed. It was your trial by fire. If you had perished there in the desert alongside them, then you had no place with us. But if you came out alone... I tried to save them. Sam Duarte, I could have saved his life. He was expendable, they all were. I gave the order to sabotage Rainbird because I needed to know if you were willing to live, Ben. If you had the courage to survive. You heartless fucking bastard. Survivor's guilt. The psychological profile said that was all I needed to control you. But these things are so hard to determine. I'm pleased. I could prove you wrong. 
The fall from the jetliner really did a number on your neurohub. I can't believe I had to reconfigure it. All the progress you've made with your augmentations. Lost. I'll be fine. I've already started relearning the basics. I'll be using my augmentations at full strength in no time. I suppose so. Still, it's a miracle that you survived. You and me both. You did as much to hurt them as I did, but they're still looking for us. And the moment we stick our heads up, we'll be spotted. They're after us because they're afraid of what we know. We can expose them, Ben. We can get justice, not just revenge. I know that, look. What's your plan? We've got pieces of the puzzle. We just need to put them back together. Think back to what you found on the plane. The killing floor. That's what the tyrants call their communications network. Some kind of encrypted data node where they get their orders from above. Right. Someone else is pulling the strings. The tyrants are just a tool. Namir said he had assets in Bell Tower, the private military contractor. That's where he found me. So they're embedded in the world's biggest private military contractor. This gets better and better. Operation Rainbird went down in Queensland. It was a strike mission, part of the Australian oil conflict. And Namir was there to pull you out of the ashes. Exactly. He had everything in place. So we know the tyrants have major assets in Australia. That's a start. I've been scanning the net, looking at Glass Curtain, conspiracy crew, all the activist groups. They talk about the tyrants. They have profiles, but no one takes them seriously. You think people will listen to us? Ben Saxon broke down squaddy. Anna Kelso, federal agent turned fugitive. There's always someone who will... Listen. <laughs> Anna! Damn it! Where are your meds? Where's the neuropathy? Ben! Help me. The seizures... I can't. It hurts. <sighs> My approach was always direct. I was an agent, and there's no room for feelings when you have a gun pointed at you. But there was a moment after the Logan Circle event. I was shot. They told me Matt was dead. I would have cried right then and there if they hadn't taken my eyes. Agent Matt Ryan. Ben, I can't do this while you're here. You're the one who wanted to do this, Santa. Well, just go in the other room or something. All right, all right. Right. So, Agent Ryan. Matt. He wasn't just another field agent. Not to me. He was... The tyrants gunned him down at Logan Circle. I lost him. I guess that's part of the reason I asked Ben to stay with me. I can't lose him like I lost Matt. Thanks. It's my fault. I waited too long between doses. 
And I know why. We're almost out. Without a supply of new pods, this will happen more often. Our augmentations will malfunction. Janus is supposed to find us a new source, right? I don't trust anyone else. I haven't spoken to our hacker friend in months. Then I guess we might have to tough it out for a while. No. I'm not going to put you at risk. I'll contact Janus now. When I met Ben, he had just defected from the tyrants. Killers without principles or compunction. They were assassins, working for some mysterious, powerful organization. I had no reason to trust Ben. At this point, they had already damaged my life. But there was something honest in his eyes. He wasn't really one of them. He was just a soldier, following orders. Biological tissue and inorganic mechanical systems. This is an odd machine and body adaptable for training exercises. But our new one is live and recorded and can be used by the robot system, causing a condition known as a disorder and then it's moved to a different world. And this can be quite serious. I keep having these nightmares. I see ghosts of all the men who died under my watch. Sometimes I see Sam in the darkness, chained, moaning, tearing at his orgs. He was a friend. I couldn't tell his family what happened, not all of it. Hell, should have been me who died, not him. Janus, are you out there? Hello, Benjamin. It's been a while. Are you and Miss Kelso safe? For now. But Anna's sick. I mean, we both are. We're running out of neuropazine. You're not the only ones. The neuropazine shortage is getting worse. Augmented people everywhere are suffering. Can you help us? It might be time to start looking for alternatives, Benjamin. An alternative to neuropathy. I don't have any sources that can supply you directly. The risk of exposure is too great. You're gonna have to pay a visit to the doctor. I can't go to a limb clinic. If I use any official channels, they'll track me down, and Anna and I will be on the run again. I understand that. I have a contact for you. An underground doctor who operates in Panama City. His name is Alvarez Araujo. He may be able to help. Panama's a dangerous place. I'm gonna need some equipment, some protection if I'm going there. The city is rife with black market contacts. Providing you have the money, they'll be happy to sell you what you want, and it won't be traced back to you. I may need to upgrade my augmentations. I don't know what kind of trouble I might get into out there. You'll need a Praxis kit for that. But your mechanical augmentations can be enhanced at any time if you have one and you won't have to blow your cover visiting the limb clinic for an upgrade. Tell me about this guy, Alvarez. Can I trust him? His past is shady. He used to be a doctor, but now he operates in the slums. It seems he has something of an altruistic streak. The poor and desperate turn to him when they can't get help elsewhere. I know how they feel. Tell me about this. His past is shady. He... I know how they feel. Okay. I can take the maglev line straight into the city. And then I'll track down our man. Thank you, Janus. For everything. You'll pay me back one day. People always do. Good luck, Benjamin. So what did he, or she, um, I mean, what did Janice say? I'm going to see a contact in Panama City. 
The maglev train leaves in an hour. You're going out there? I should come with you. No, it's too risky for us to go out together. You stay here, stay safe. This place is off the grid, no one knows about it. You know me. I'm not exactly good at doing nothing. Then don't. You've still got contacts you trust, right? Use them. See what you can dig up about Namir and the tyrants. And what about you? Who's gonna keep you safe if I'm not around? Don't worry. I'll keep a low profile, be discreet, and only use force when necessary. All right, Ben. Stay in contact on the info link. Tell me what you see out there, any clues you find. I'll do the same from this end. And promise me one thing. Name it. Don't get yourself killed. We've only got each other now. But with a new initiative being put forth by the World Health Organization, Anna, do you read me? I'm in Panama City. How does it feel to get back into the world? A breath of fresh air, huh? I wouldn't exactly call it fresh. Just try not to draw attention to yourself. So who is this guy you're looking for? Dr. Alvarez Araujo. I'll let you know when I find him. Shit, man. You think you scare me with your shiny arm, Og? Maybe you should try living here with the gangsters. We'll see how long you last. Mi hermana, she's been telling me how the city is getting overrun with criminals and gangsters. Che lo que hay, gringo? You're looking for some action or but something? Now? I used to live down by where Rio Dorado was until those skulls started shooting up the place. As soon as I saw...
market. Still, Sapphire plans to make its initial public offering in a matter of weeks, so I guess only time will tell if Rising lives up to its hype. This is Eliza Kazan, reporting to you live from Picus. <laughs> There may be new hope for those unable to afford Versalife's increasingly pretty augmentation drug, Neuropazine. Up-and-coming pharmaceutical firm, Sapphire Biotech, claims its miracle drug, Rhizine, will revolutionize the lives of those suffering from augmentation rejection syndrome. Condition Access granted. While simultaneously bringing to much needed competition to the open rejection drug the recent public report shows users of rising experience a comfortable reduction in glial tissue growth to those taking the opposite, but at a fraction of the cost. That Access granted. Other sources of the legitimacy of the drug altogether. Others question the thoroughness of the company's tests and the speed at which rising is moving to market. Still, Sapphire plans to make it to the public library in a matter of weeks. I don't know what's worse. The gangbangers hold up in these slums. Or those A friend of mine tried to steal from the gangbangers not too long ago. Gangs, they got better weapons than the police. You better watch yourself. We are doing our best, but we just can't make any ground in this house. Ah! Oh. Ben, are you there? What's wrong? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, it's just a dizzy spell. I'm fine. Be careful. Keep walking, Og. You ain't welcome here. Look up, Og. A few more steps and you're in the world of shit.
Whoa, I can't deal with that right now. Look, man, I'm too slow for this shit right now. Aye, those are some serious argumentation you are using. Yes, who are you? What do you want? I'm very busy. Dr. Araujo, a friend sent me. I heard that you might be able to help someone in my position. I might be able to help a lot of people. So, out with it. What do you want? I'm suffering from DDS. If I don't secure a reliable source of neuropazine soon, my augmentations could kill me. Hmm. By the looks of you, you're in the advanced stages of withdrawal. No wonder you're sickly. But unfortunately for you, I don't deal in neuropazine anymore. No pose is in short supply and the margins are just no good. There's got to be something else. I heard there was an alternative to neuropazine. What do you know about that? Well, you're smarter than you look. VersaLife has tried to eliminate all the competitors and anti-rejection generics. But there is a new drug available from Zephyr Labs. The new hope, as it were. It's called Rhizine. Rhizine? Tell me about it. It's like neuropazine? Yes, in fact, it's virtually identical to neuropazine, but cheaper and not made by VersaLife. And believe me, VersaLife is not very happy about that fact. They try to suppress it, keep it out of the lean clinics, try to sabotage the drug trials so that no one can get it. They want everyone to keep taking neuropazine. So Rhizine isn't available legally anywhere? Not yet, Hefe. But it's only a matter of time before Zaphire has it approved by the WHO. And then I stop making money selling it. <laughs> okay, I want a month's supply to start with, and then regular, untraceable deliveries for as long as I need it. Meto Pana, I am not a trafficker. I treat anyone who comes in that door, but that's it. If you're still interested, I can administer a dose now to treat your symptoms, but no more. Okay. If it gets me back on my feet, that'll do. Ah, a man who embraces his destiny. Like me. Hold out your hand, please. The fleshy one. Ah, just a moment. There we go. Ah, oh, that stings. Yeah, that's better. Works fast, yes? No more seizures. But for how long? I need to secure a supply for myself. And a friend. It sounds like you need more help than I can provide. I can put you in contact with someone at Lim. I can't just walk into Lim. I mean, I don't want anyone to know who I am. I need to keep a low profile. That's why I came to someone like you. Someone like me? <laughs> Please, I am a very resourceful man. I have in my possession a Lim preferred client card linked to an anonymous RFID. Using this card, you can access all of the services of a Lim clinic including as much neuropazine as you can afford, while remaining safely anonymous. That's if you deserve it, of course. What do you want for it? Name your price. Answer me this. A man is cast adrift with no family bonds, no old friends, and no morals to guide his actions. What do you call him? Someone lost. That may be. I will sell you the card for a small fee. Here, take the credits. Ah, very good doing business with you, Mr. Uh, well, I don't think I want to know your name. <laughs> 
Go see Camila Cardoso at the Lim Clinic downtown. She runs the place and she can make anything happen. But I must warn you, she is a tough woman, so be polite. Back again? What do you want? Nothing you need to worry about. After I saw how the exciting players the medical coach medical left and right with those legs. I need your help, please. What's the problem? My boyfriend Luis, he's been missing for weeks. He started working for the Skulls about a month ago, and now he's gone. I tried to find him, but nobody wants to help a Nupo's rat. Can you look for him? Can you find Luis? Okay, I'll help you. You will? Thank you. Luis has military-grade leg augmentations. That should help you spot him. Anna, it's Ben. I met with the doctor. Looks like the neuropazine shortage is worse than we realized. Tell him, yeah, but I found dog. an alternative, another drug. Something called Rhizine. It seems to do the same job. You took it? I got you, Mama! How do you feel? Better. First time in days I've had a headache. But I only got enough for one day. Like ah. I'm going to the local room to take down some new cause. I have a contact there. Ah. Ring Room's ID check on all of their phones. If they figure out who you are... Don't worry. I've got it under control. Good luck. I don't know who these big shots think they are. Come in here with that fancy ogs. You're a bitch. Rejection drug should remove.
What happened? Did you find Louise? I'm sorry, but I was too late. Louise is gone. Gone? Louise is gone? It's all my fault. I told them to take that job. Because of the new pose. Louise is dead. Because I needed a fix. Oh God. How am I supposed to get new pose without him? I'm sorry. I know what it's like. At least you tried. Thank you for trying. Here, take this. a method of curing AIDS. Dr. Havana Alquirofano. Welcome to LIB International. Liberty in mind and body. How may I help you? I'm here to see Dr. Cardoso. Okay. If you'll just tap your preferred client card on the reader, I can let you through. Dr. Juarez, por favor, inform your preferred client card has been rejected. Are you Dr. Cardoso? Who are you? What do you want? How do you know my name? A mutual friend sent me. Alvarez. He said you might be able to help. Come in. I know you're kind. You're a mercenary, Jess. With those Ogs, what else could you be? What business do you have with Alvarez? If you came here looking for combat drugs, I can't help you.
I'm looking for a resupply of new pods, but Alvarez's stock is dry and you're my only option. That puts you in a tough spot, doesn't it? I haven't seen hardware like yours in a while. Maybe we can work something out. I am the manager of this limb clinic, but you probably knew that already, didn't you? So then, what should I be calling you? Name's Ben. I guess you could call me a freelancer. Well, Ben, I'm afraid you've come at a difficult time. This clinic used to be a thriving community of augmentation engineers and physicians. We were really pushing the boundaries with cutting-edge technology, making a better world. But things changed. Government sanctions and trade embargoes are crippling us. Only the very rich can afford augmentation therapy now. And with the neuropocene shortage, ordinary people are being forced to take desperate measures. Doesn't Lim control the distribution of neuropazine all over Panama City? Why can't you make sure everyone gets a fair share? It's not that simple. The market is rigged. Our prices are regulated and our supply is rationed. With street drug versions of Rhizine replacing neuropazine, we're powerless to do anything about it. We're being squeezed out of business. That's why I've got to do something. But I can't use official channels. I need someone special. Someone under the radar to help me out. Are you interested? Tell me what you have in mind, and I'll tell you if I'm interested. Every day I'm losing people. I don't know what kind of operation Zafire Biotech has going, but their rising is all over the black market. My clients are eating it up. Someone has to be held accountable. Somehow, the gangs in the slums are getting hold of shipments of the drug meant for clinical trials, and they're selling it on the street. God knows what they're cutting it with. If someone could get into gang territory and figure out how they're getting the rising... Someone like me, you mean? I have a contact at the train station who deals with the gangs. He's a gun runner, calls himself Cobra. He knows how they operate. If you want to help me, Go see him first. It's very important that I find out where the rising originates. I need to know if it's coming from Zafire, or if it's not the real thing, if it's some poison the gang is cooking up. They could do terrible damage. Sounds like a risky proposition. Not sure I want to get involved. It's up to you. But if you change your mind, the offer's open. Anna, it's me. Listen, I found a new source. If everything goes well, we shouldn't have to worry about our new pulse supply for a long time. That's good news. Wait, if what goes well? Somebody needs help dealing with a local trash problem. Nothing's ever easy, is it? Okay, keep me posted. And don't make too much trouble. I'll do my best. Hold it right there, citizen. Looks like you're packing some serious hardware. You must be an agent. Government? Military? Ex-military but I got tired of fighting other people's wars. Shit, yeah, I get that. 
but I need some help, and I'm willing to pay for it. You help me fight my war, and I'll make it worth your while. You've got my attention. What do you want? I'm working on a case involving illegal rising distribution in Panama, and I think I got my man, the Kingpin. His name is Alvarez Uraujo, local scumbag. Somehow, he's got a line on the stuff and is selling large quantities of the drug in the slums. And you want to put him out of business? We're pretty tolerant of low-level crime in the city, recreational drug use, but this is completely different. Lots of people are dying. We've got bodies piling up in the streets. And now, they're trying to push this junk downtown. That can't happen. So what do you want me to do? Take him out? Nothing like that. I just need evidence to make a bust. See if you can make contact with this lowlife. And then search for evidence. A list of customers, receipts, a pocket secretary would do the trick. I'll do it, but if I get you the evidence you need, you better not stiff me. You got my word. Percussions of this discovery will be far reaching. It's not late, it's early, and I want. Access granted. Access granted.
What's wrong, English? You have a strange look about your face. Avares, you should know. The police are after you. Oh, the police are always after me. What else is new? No, this is serious. They wanted me to get them evidence. To build a case against you and bust your doors down. Rayos, did you agree to betray Alvarez? I came here to warn you. Your time's up. You need to pack up and get out of town before they haul you in. I appreciate the warning. In my line of work, when things get too hot, it's time to move on. But these people in the slums, they'll have no one to turn to now. Amazingly, researchers were able to see increased strength in... Well, did you get the evidence? Alvarez skipped town, and he didn't leave any evidence. You blew it! Months of work down the drain! Get the hell out of here before I give you a demonstration in police brutality! Fucking ox! You must be Cobra. That depends. Who the hell are you? Camilla Cardoso sent me. That should be good enough. Yeah, she told me you'd be coming. Said you're going into Skull's territory. Which means you're either one tough son of a bitch, or you've got a dent in that metal head of yours. Or maybe I'm just not some coward who hides in the men's room peddling guns to criminals. Hey, I don't deal with bangers anymore. Got too hot. Mostly now I sell to honest people who simply want to defend themselves. You can respect that. And I'm only dealing with you on recommendation from the lady doctor. Fine. So, what have you got for me? First of all, call me curious. But why would someone want to go into gang territory if he didn't have to? I mean, what are you looking to find? The gangs are involved in something they shouldn't be. I'm just gonna take a look around and see what I can find. Nothing for you to worry about. Look around! This ain't where you go sightseeing, buddy. The Skulls will kill anyone they catch snooping around. I can handle myself. But Cardoso said you might be able to help me. What have you got? Yeah, I might be able to help you. But nothing comes for free. You do a little favor for me, and I'll tell you everything you want to know about the Skulls.
What kind of little favor? And why should I care? The skulls are run by a shitbag called Diego. We had a... a disagreement over a deal, and he's been after me ever since. Guy really holds a grudge, you know? So, you want me to do your dirty work? Kill him? No, no, nothing like that. Look, Diego keeps a record of all his contacts, you know? Like insurance, in case he ever got busted, he could bargain his way out with the Federales. That list would be very useful to a guy in my line of work. I want you to find it. Steal it for me. I have a feeling that won't be easy. What's in it for me? I'll tell you everything you want to know about the Skulls, so you'll be, you know, prepared before you go in there. Otherwise you go in on your own, take your chances. But if you do make it back, I mean, when you bring me the list, I'll give you something real valuable. Trust me, I'll make it worth your while. You'd better not be wasting my time. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for Diego's files. Where does he keep them? A pocket secretary. Something he keeps close by. Might even be, you know, in his pocket. <laughs> okay, so what do you want to know? So, this gang. They call themselves the Skulls. Yeah, I guess they think it sounds cool. Most of them are pretty young and stupid. They get recruited as teenagers and usually get killed before they have a chance to grow up. Life's kinda cheap around here, eh? Huh? And people are afraid of them? Hell, they run half the city. The police let them be most of the time, easier than getting killed. Cops only come in if they have solid evidence a major deal is going down. It's not worth the risk, you know? Tell me about this bloke Diego. What I heard? He took over when he killed the last guy who was boss. Slit his throat while he was asleep. Sounds like a real gentleman. Eh, he's not all bad. When I was dealing with him, he was pretty reasonable, most of the time. As long as I was straight with him. But he's kind of... sensitive. Like if he thinks you're disrespecting him? <laughs> Payaso. Get the hell out of there before the bullets start flying. That's what I did. The doc said you were a gunrunner. Maybe you can hook me up with some free firepower? Sorry, no discounts. You want a pistola? You pay the standard rate. All I can give you for free is information. I think I have what I need. Thanks for the help. Whoa! What's that? Aye, Cobra. We are coming for you, pendejo. We're shutting your ass down. Nah, shit. I got a jet. These creeps will smoke me. You should get the hell out of here, man. Don't shoot me, everyone! Come on, Clemento! We're just hiding. Look everywhere! El Serpiente. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh. Ah. Uh. I can do it all day, you know. Access granted.
Global Stock Exchange. Access granted. Anna, you read me. I need you to record my audio feed right now. What? Why? Just do it. I want you to keep a copy of this conversation. Meto, looks like we got a visitor. Hey, gringo, I'm talking to you. So you are the tourista with the big cojones who's been snooping around my block, huh? You showing a lack of respect, hombre. We can only hope Mr. Page is right. This is Eliza Kazan, reporting to you live from Pycan. <laughs> Exciting news in the medical field today. Researchers working for the Ursalife Corporation announced that they have found a method of curing AIDS... I'm not looking for trouble. I know you could have your men kill me right now if you wanted. That's right, I could. So why would you be stupid enough to cross the skulls? What did you think was going to happen? I came here to ask you something, that's all. I'm not here to make trouble. Oh no, too late for that, is it? But go ahead, ask, because this I gotta hear. Where are you getting the Rise? No one's supposed to have it yet. What's your source? My source? You a cop? Why the fuck would I tell you? Word is people are turning to Rising because they can't pay for new pos. But even though Rising hasn't been cleared as safe, you're still selling it. How does that work? Rayos. This street belongs to me, punk. Lim's market is legit. Their customers are rich assholes, but I give people what they really want. Where I get it, that's my business. That's bullshit. You're preying on the weak. Peddling rising like it's some kind of back alley street drug. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Get lost, punk. You cross cultures again, you're dead. The nanites are able to stop the virus from replicating and begin the rejuvenation of T cells needed to run immune systems. Amazingly, researchers were able to see increased strength in the immune system of mice within days of their use. Walking speed at which the nanites are able to operate well for nanotechnology at this early stage of development. But what does this mean for humans? How long... Until nanites are used to cure millions of infected people around the world. Personalized CEO Bob Page had this to say. Thank you. 
Cobra, I see the skulls haven't killed you yet. Hey, the snake is hard to catch. <laughs> I got that list you wanted. So what's it worth to you? Oh, I'm sure Diego didn't give them up easy. As for your compensation, it's up to you. I was thinking of checking out nightshades. I'll take the pass. Have fun. Just watch it though. They water down the drinks there. Gonna get me some hogs, like those Bell Tower Tyrones. You are on. You are dead, Hunter. This shipment has to get out tonight, or else El Hef- Anna, you there? You're not going to believe this. Ben, what is it? Bell Tower is operating in Panama City. They're supplying rising to the slum gangs. That's something, all right. Do you have evidence? I found a Bell Tower truck dropping shipments of rising in gang territory and a loading manifest from an XNG cargo ship. Damn. Ben, if Bell Tower is involved out there, you need to be careful. 
There's more. They're hauling away the bodies of anyone who overdoses on the drug. Why? What are they trying to hide? I don't know. I'll let you know when I find out more. Just watch your back, Ben. It's an anniversary present. Ben, you're back. What did you find? We'll get to that. First, the neuropazine. I need to know you're going to follow through with your promise. Okay, but I need an address. I'll send the shipment wherever you want, if you tell me what you saw. Remember, no names, no tracking numbers. You think I want this coming back to me? Now, do you have evidence? What did you find out? The drug the Skulls are pushing is the real thing. It's rising, straight off the supply ships. That's impossible. XNG is in charge of shipping rising from the Zafire Corporation Labs, and Bell Tower provides security. They're heavily armed. A gang of punks couldn't rob from them. Bell Tower is in on it. They're leaking the drugs into the slums on purpose. I have proof. And that's not all. They're taking away the corpses of any rising victims. Do you know what this means? The drugs coming out of Zafire are toxic. They're field testing it on humans right here in the city. And someone is paying Bell Tower to cover it up. This is worse than I thought. You've got to get the evidence to someone who can blow the whistle. I know a woman who might be able to help. Her name is Alex Vega. She's a Bell Tower pilot, but she's not corrupt. I've known her too long. You can trust her. If Bell Tower is really doing what you say they're doing, she would know about it. What can she do? Last time we spoke, Alex said something about an assignment for the World Health Organization. She might have a contact there. Where can I find her? There's a club on the boardwalk called Nightshades. She hangs out there when she's off duty. I'll find out what she knows. And Doctor? Thanks for the checkup. Good luck, Ben. Most? Or... I don't have any appointments. You're in the wrong room. Senor, por favor. Good day. If you're looking for Camila, she's down the hall. Anna, it's Ben. Good news, it's done. There should be a package headed your way. Thank God, Ben. I've been getting the shakes real bad. A couple more days without a dose. Listen, I want you to take the maglev into San Jose first thing and check the P.O. box. Will do. What about you? You're not coming back? Not just yet. The doc who set up the new POS contact seems to think there's a Bell Tower pilot who can help figure out this mess. I'm on my way to meet her now. Ben, you don't have to do that. This isn't our problem. 
I'm just going to check it out. I have to, Anna. If I don't, more people could die. I can't let that go. Tempting offer, but I'm definitely not drunk enough. Maybe after a few drinks I'll be more interested. Not so fast. You need a pass to get into Nightshades. Welcome to Nightshades. Tempting offer, but I'm definitely not huh? drunk enough. What? Maybe after a few drinks, I'll be more interested. Hey, can I buy you a drink? <laughs> a gentleman, huh? I'll have a shot at you don't know me and a dash of get lost on the side. That's funny, because I just spoke with the bartender and he's all out of get lost. You're Bell Tower, right? Sky Division pilot? Most of the hard bodies in here are PMCs. You fit right in. You a Merc? My name's Saxon. I used to run a strike team for Bell Tower. Used to? What happened? Let's just say my last mission didn't end well. Yeah, you guys get the tough gigs, huh? But it looks like you made it out mostly intact. What doesn't kill you? Keeps you awake at night, right? I'm Alex Vega, working flight ops all across the sector. You've got the right attitude. So, what's a nice girl like you doing as a private military contractor? It beats army service. Pay is good and I have my own veto, but you gotta watch your back down here, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. This place is the goddamn Wild West. Locals will knife you as soon as look at you. Back in the day, I worked clandestine ops. Bag and tag, false flag, diversionary. Even did black market infiltration. But all that was before this Ryzine stuff came along. What do you know about Ryzine? You guys are getting sloppy. Colluding with street gangs. Leaving bodies on the street. Not me. I mean, you hear things, you know. Rumors. But I'm not involved with any of that. At least, I wasn't. Until now. Something's got you rattled. What's wrong? I don't have eyes in the back of my head. That's the problem. You think someone's after you? It's not personal. I'm the one ferrying VIPs around the city, and if someone wants to snuff them out, I'm just collateral damage. I got a target on my back, see? I might be able to help, if you tell me what you've heard. Just rumors, mostly. Bell Tower has a contract with XNG Shipping, running security for rising shipments going through the Panama Canal. But I heard some of the guards were actually taking a cut and selling it to gangbanger street dealers. Rising is still in clinical trials. Even Lim doesn't have it yet. That's got to be a problem for someone. The World Health Organization has opened an investigation and sent their top inspector here to check it out. And guess who they got flying him all over the damn place? And if someone wants him to have an accident? I crash and burn with him. But I can't go up the line on this. I don't know how deep it goes. And it doesn't sound too good. A pilot warning her client that her own company may be out to kill him. So you want to help a girl out? I'll help you. But you have to be straight with me. You gotta warn the inspector about the danger he's in. That way it doesn't connect back to me. And then I'll owe you one. Maybe I'll let you buy me that drink. Where can I find him? He's staying at the Hotel Atana downtown. Top floor in the VIP suite. 
The whole floor is under lockdown and heavily guarded. Look, you seem like a straight arrow, and I'm a pretty good judge of character. Plus, I don't got a lot of options here. I'm gonna give you my clearance codes. That'll let you bypass the locked doors on the VIP floor, including access to the inspector's private room and the rooftop helipad. Don't make me regret this. Don't worry. You can trust me. I'll do what I can. I'm looking for my niño Jorge. He looked so sickly the last time I saw him, and that was days ago. During a routine transfer to the I really don't have anything to tell you. You look up tight. Go have a drink, eh? Access granted. Access granted. Access granted. No offense, but you don't look like a typical guest of the Etana. Are you sure you are at the right place?
Access granted. Access granted. Inspector seemed kind of jumpy to you. I think he's losing it. Really? I thought he was just always like that. Off limits, buddy. Out of here. Turn around. This is no place for Augs like you. <laughs> Access granted. Who's there? This is a restricted floor. You're not allowed up here. Inspector, you need to listen to me. Your life is in danger. Are you threatening me? Stay back. I, I have bodyguards right outside. I'm here to help you. You're investigating the missing Rising shipments. I have evidence implicating people inside the Bell Tower PMC. I know what Bell Tower is doing. It's all in my reports. Sapphire Biotech is producing a flawed product, and Bell Tower is covering it up, hiding the bodies. But I'm being stonewalled. I can't even get approval to inspect Sapphire's facilities in Australia. Someone in the WHO must be in on this. My reports have been discredited. People are dying down here. That can't be ignored. I know. That's why I'm going to go public. I'm sending my report to Picus. Once Eliza Kassan broadcasts it on the nightly news, everyone will know the truth. Oh, no! Don't! Uh, uh, Saxon! Don't hesitate! Kill the traitor! Sam? It, it can't be. Yeah, we got multiple incoming hostiles. Exfiltrate now. Alex, it's Saxon. The inspector's been assassinated. What the hell happened? It was a black ops hit. Stay where you are. Your life may be in danger. I'm coming back for you. Oh, God damn it!
Anna, are you there? We have a big problem. The tyrants are here, in Panama City. What? Are you certain? They, have escaped custody. they just murdered a man right in front of me, so yeah, I'm certain. They're too close. It can't be a coincidence. Don't go back to the safe house. Get out now. Okay. But what are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Just stay off the grid. I'll contact you when I can. Good luck, Ben. How did he die? He was gunned down in his hotel room, right in front of me. This was a top-tier operation. But I think they were surprised to see me there. They? You know who did this? I've got a pretty good idea, yeah. Madre de Dios. The murder of a government official on my watch. Bell Tower will run an internal investigation, and I'm gonna be on the short list for enhanced interrogation. They're gonna make it look like I was in on it. Shit! You need to get out of town. Get your VTOL and get away, as far as possible. I can't. Bell Tower has my aircraft under constant surveillance. They'll pick me up the second I get to the hangar. Suppose their surveillance equipment were to suddenly... malfunction. I, I see what you're getting at, but it's impossible. Security's too tight. Let me worry about that. Where's the hangar? <sighs> right here in the heart of the city. Bell Tower maintains a covert forward operations base. But the access point is concealed. How do I find it? You're taking a lot of risks for me. What's in it for you? Let's just say you're not the only one with a gun to their head. Now give me the details. We don't have a lot of time. All right. You can enter the base through a concealed access point in the XNG data processing facility. It's part of Bell Tower's contract. XNG provides the cover, and they provide the muscle. I have a new recruit pass you can use to get inside. But then, you're on your own. And there's a hell of a lot of hard cases in there. You think you can deal with them? I can handle the opposition. But I'm gonna need something else from you, Alex. If I free your bird, you have to take me with you, wherever I want to go. Deal? I guess I don't have a choice, do I? Have you seen this man? Uh, yeah. He came in here five minutes ago. Shit. They followed you from the hotel. You have to get out of here. Use the back door so they won't see you. Don't worry about me. Go. Go! Over here!
Please vacate the area, senor. You are not permitted here. You think those orcs can stop a bullet? Peace off. This building is off limits. You work out with Mierda who you are. X 
Access granted. Man, those junkies can't get in. <laughs> Surveillance systems are down. No one will be able to track your veto. You better be right. I'm heading to the hangar now. Wait for me on the roof of the Hotel Itana. I'll pick you up there. Don't keep me waiting. On my way.
Anna, are you there? I'm getting out of Panama. Are you safe? Yeah, I'm on the move already. I called in some favors with our old friends and the new Sons of Freedom. They're gonna get me set up. I should be able to help you very soon. Just don't take any risks. Hey, you know me. What about you? I'm going to Australia. Zafar Biotech. I got a tip they're tainting the Rising. I have to follow this all the way to the end. That's a secure corporate facility, Ben. If the tyrants are involved, they've got to know you'll be coming. I'll do what I can from this end to help you get in there. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Saxon, something's going on over at the Atana. Police radio says they've evacuated the entire hotel. This could mean trouble. Stick to the plan. has begun that stolen Can you read me? There's no way I can land this thing. They're all over the rooftop. Oh, hell. Is that a box guard? Shit! Stay in a hole, Patrick. I'll clear them out. Just don't go around. Ah! See the mess you got me into? Ah! Stay alive. I can kill you myself. Ah! Are they serious with this box guard? Alex, you got a gunship inbound. Already on it.
resignation. Where are we headed? Australia. Canberra. Look for the Zaphire Biotech building. Okay, strap in. Don't expect an in-flight movie, okay? You had him in your sights. Why is he still alive? Saxon had help. Next time you won't be so lucky. We can't tolerate further interference. We're almost ready to go public. It is critical we proceed without incident. The failure was mine, Commander. It won't happen again. Ben Saxon will die.